Hi, this is Chris, and I just wanted to share with you a really neat tool that will allow you and your students to view, uh, annotate, edit, and collaborate on top of a document like a PDF document. So the tool's name is called Kami. Uh, let's take a look over here. If you don't know about Kami, their website is at um, K-A-M-I-H-Q.com. And uh, they have a quick video about it. It's a one minute video that shows you the basics. And then if you're in the Chrome browser, you can just click on this button right here that says install Cam Kami and it will install the Chrome extension for you. So now I'm gonna go over to um, an example of how you might use this in a Canvas course. So over here, let's say I'm teaching English and we're reading the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. So I just made this assignment really quickly. It's not complete, but I think you'll get the idea. So use Canny to annotate and respond to the questions on this Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner PDF. So if I were to click on this um, right here, so it's gonna open up in a new tab or window. I go ahead and click. I have uh, Kami already installed on my browser. So it just automatically loads in Kami. And you'll notice that over here, there's tools over here. There's a toolbar that I can use um, to interact with this PDF. Um, I'm also gonna point out that I'm logged in using my Google account here. And you can see that's my initials. If you didn't have the uh, extension, you could also use the web viewer and just drag a PDF document to this window and it would open up in the same manner. But I really love the extension. It's definitely worth installing. So here is the text of the uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. And maybe one of the instructions that uh, you want your students to do is to um, highlight and define any words that they're not familiar with. So let's say they're gonna use the highlight tool here. So I'm, I select my highlight tool um, and I'm going on and um, maybe I'm not sure exactly what the ship was cheered. I'm not sure exactly if that's what I think it is, like people were cheering for the ship. I need to look it up. So I'm going to um, click on blue. So I'm gonna highlight all the words I'm unsure of in blue. And then if you'd like, um, you can have you, uh, this converted to a comment. And, you know, I could, I could look that up or I can ask a question. So I can say, is this cheer as in the sense of expressing joy? <clears throat> and then if I'm working with somebody else, they could also reply to this. So that's one example of how you can use it. Uh, this tool right here, you could select, maybe I want green right here. And that's a strike through tool. So you can strike through. You can create your own color palette as well. I can get rid of it. Uh, there's an underline tool. Uh, there's the comment mode, which you saw also in the, the highlighter there. And then there's also a text um, mode. So um, there's a question here. Iron, Iron Maiden's version of the poem did not include these stanzas. Uh, give an explanation. Uh, what, did, what advantage is there in having more exposition to a story? Uh, and so the student could come in here and then they could start typing. I think the advantage. And so you get the idea. I'm not going to uh, take the time to do that. Um, they can also draw, draw. Sh the only thing that you can't do with the free edition here is um, you can't draw shapes. Uh, that's a premium feature. Uh, this, and I don't think you'll be able to sign either, but I don't really need my students to draw shapes and sign on top of this document. So um, it's good. And then there's an eraser here. I can erase that because it's ugly. Uh, over here is your, your toolbar. This would allow you to open a file. Right here is pretty, 
pretty neat, which would allow you to share a file. So um, I could upload this to the cloud right here and I can get a link for it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. It uploaded it and I can have it be private or I can allow link sharing. So I can give this link right here and I can just copy it right here by clicking this button. I can give this link to um, maybe others in my group and we can have a small group annotation on this and um, we can collaborate on it. Uh, I can determine whether uh, I share my annotations with others or not. Uh, and I can determine whether the collaborators can download and print the file as well. So I like the default permissions here for that. Um, so I've got my link. The other thing I could do is I could print it. Uh, this is, um, it syncs it. And then over here, it also allows you to export it to your computer. Or if you want to install this to your Google Drive, you can do that as well. And you have the choice to do the original, uh, the PDF with the annotations or just the annotations only as a text file. And you just, you can export it. So students could potentially uh, do this. They can um, either grab the URL, the share URL, or they can export the file. And then they can come back over here to um, Canvas and um, submit it as an assignment. So on this assignment, I allowed for um, a website URL um, or a file upload. So I can basically, um, I already have that URL copied, so I can basically paste that URL in there, um, submit it, and boom, my assignment is submitted. Now, if I log out as uh, the student and log into my regular account, uh, you should be able to see that what it looks like on the teacher end. Okay, so here's the assignment. I'm logged in as a teacher now. I'll go to speed grader. And then what I want to do is click on the URL right here to load it inside. And then you can see um, here, here it is. And then you can also uh, reply here. I'm logged in as the same person, but um, you'd also be able to reply there or you can uh, submit comments there. So it's pretty cool. I think there's a lot of different uses for it. And hopefully you'll find this to be a valuable resource for you and your students.